So the next Xbox, let's talk about that. We know absolutely nothing about this. I just want to say that right now. All Microsoft did was say, "Hey, we're working on the next Xbox. See you soon. See you in a couple of years." That's basically all Microsoft did. Um, but even though we don't know much about it, I do want to talk about the fact that there is another Xbox coming in the near future, and uh, my thoughts on it because I'm slightly confused on why we're making another Xbox right now. Um, so at their E3 press briefing on Sunday, Microsoft's Phil Spencer teased that they are indeed working on the latest and greatest Xbox, but I'm wondering how great will it actually be? It was reported just a few days later that the codename for this new Xbox is Xbox Scarlet. Um, codename, development name, it's not the actual name of it, we don't know that, but that's what they're calling it internally. Uh, but just real quickly, I just want to ask, how did we go from a seriously cool name like Project Scorpio, which was the code name for the Xbox One X, to just Scarlet? <laughs> I mean, no offense to anyone named Scarlet, but what is this code name? I just don't get it. Just saying, Project Scorpio, seriously awesome code name. Loved it. I mean, I, I, I would have, I don't know. I, I wouldn't have minded if that was the actual name for it. I mean, I know Microsoft, there's no way Microsoft would have released a console called Project Scorpio. I mean, they have to call it an Xbox something. And um, the naming system right now makes sense, uh, but Project Scorpio is still a really good name. Uh, but uh, just a couple of questions here about the fact that there is a new console that I have. So I'm just a little confused on how Microsoft is planning on expanding their current lineup of consoles. Um, so right now the naming system is sort of Xbox One and then like a letter to sort of symbolize something, I guess. And so for those of you who are familiar with the current Xbox ecosystem, this is kind of just a review. But right now there's currently the Xbox One. Even though it's technically discontinued now, you can buy it used and the graphic capability of it is worse than the other two consoles. So I'd say that makes it a great low-end console, especially since you can get it used for some pretty good prices online. But there's also the Xbox One S, which I'd say is more of your mid-range console. It's a smaller, more up-to-date version of the Xbox One. It's also 4K capable through upscaling, but it, it does do 4K technically, um, just through upscaling. It's definitely more of an up-to-date version of the Xbox One. And it, like I said, it's more of a mid-range console. And then there's also the high-end super console, Xbox One X, which is sm somehow smaller than the other two consoles, but it's arguably the most powerful console out there. Uh, so you can sort of see here, Microsoft has a dream lineup right now. You've got a low-end console, a mid-range console, and a high-end console. And this covers all your different sort of price ranges of gamers. Um, and you've got a really clever naming system with it too. Um, so my questions for this new Xbox is, well, what's the target audience for it? I mean, price range, that sort of thing, those two sort of go hand in hand sometimes. Uh, what are some of the main features or selling point of it? I mean, there hasn't been very many technological advancements in consoles recently, so what new exciting thing is there going to be on this new console that is going to convince me to not get the Xbox One X and instead get this new console? If we're just improving graphics capability that's not super impressive, all we're doing is making the games look better. Which I guess for some of you may be a selling point, but for me, I, I, I kind of want to know more than just, hey, we're making the games look better. Um, maybe that's just me? I don't know. Uh, all I'm saying here is this better not be Microsoft trying to make a new console for the sake of making a new console. That strategy is just flat out terrible. If you're going to make a new console, there better be a reason for making a new console. Don't just make a new console because there's a Nintendo or whatever. Sony's making a new console. 
you have to have a purpose for this new console, and it has to have a purpose that is more fulfilling than the previous console. That's why I say the Xbox One S. Great console. Here's why. It was a great improvement over the Xbox One. The Xbox One X. Super console. Way better graphics. 4K capable. Big improvements over the other two consoles. But what are the improvements going to be of this new console over the other two consoles? Or three, I should say. How is it going to make the ecosystem better? Uh, I also want to know, will it be more powerful than the already powerful enough Xbox One X? You know, will it be cheaper than the X? Have they figured out something? Um, it's one thing that I would like to see is an Xbox that is capable of supporting virtual reality. I think that'd be a great selling point, actually, for a future Xbox. Of, hey, you can play Xbox, but hey, you can also attach this Windows Mixed Reality controller to it, and boom, you've got, um, you've got a new... VR capable console. I know Sony's technically already done this, but it could be a good catch-up game for Microsoft as they choose to do that. Um, or will it will it be a more low-end console that has some more issues, but it's more relatable to the original Xbox One that's more targeted to people who don't want to spend a ton of money on a gaming console but still want to be able to play games? Lots of questions. And obviously no course, no answers for at least a year. Early reports are suggesting that it won't be reaching until like 2019 or 2020. But at least I asked some questions. I'm definitely curious to see what Microsoft does with this. Could it be a handheld console to compete with the Nintendo Switch? Who knows? Lots of questions, no answers yet. But hey, Microsoft is working on a new console. Super excited for that. We'll see how it is. Oh, <laughs> oh,